Hey, this is your favorite tech with another tutorial. Be sure to check us out on our website or text us if you need tech support. In this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to fix if your Windows 10 is not detecting your headphones when they're plugged into your headphone jack port. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you multiple methods. First, we're gonna start off by going into settings. And the goal is to get to advanced system settings. There are a lot of ways to get there, but I'm just gonna show you the fastest way to get there from my perspective. Go into system. Find the word about. It's gonna tell you more about your system here. Look to the right, depending on which windows you're using, you're gonna click advanced system settings. It's gonna bring up this pop-up right here. And what I want you to do is first check something. I want you to go over here, and then I want you to select hardware, and then under device installation settings, I want you to click device installation settings. And I want you to make sure this is on no. Okay, so make sure it's on no. I'm not gonna leave mine on low, but you need to leave yours on no and press save changes. If it's not on no, change it to no and click save changes, then press okay, and then get out of that menu. All right, so once you do that, next thing we wanna do is try to update our driving software or for that port. So what I want you to do is type in device, and we want you to go to device manager, right? We're gonna go under audio or sound video and game controllers. We're gonna drop down and we're looking for audio devices, right? So the high definition audio device is the system audio. This is external audio. Uh, this is uh, Steinberg, which is an external audio I have. You want the one that's actually connected to your physical uh, PCI card or your physical computer. So that's going to be this one for me. And you're just gonna click um, you're going to click update drivers. You're going to let it search the internet. And if it finds that it, you have an older driver, it'll update it and that can potentially fix the problem. Now, another thing you can do, depending on which actual IO hardware or inputs that you're having trouble with, like for instance, this is the NVIDIA high definition audio. You can literally go to their website and download their audio drivers. I'm actually using Steinberg R22, which is an audio interface. If I was having problems with hearing that, I can click update drivers as well. So go ahead and check all your audio under this tab. And if it doesn't work when you update it, then go search the web, go search their website. So basically you would go to Google and put in Steinberg UR22 drivers and then click on the link, go there, manually download those drivers and then manually install them and then restart your computer and see if that fixes the issue. Another thing you can do is sometime maybe if you run the driver update, it doesn't find the newest driver. What you can do here is you click on whatever, let's say that your Steinberg IO interface is not working, or let's say your actual in part where you plug in your headphones into your actual computer is not working, right? So for example, you can go here, you can go to properties, basically details and look at your driver version right and so when you go to their actual website to download their latest driver see if yours is older or newer if there's something newer on their website go ahead and manually download it and install it so that way you'll know okay if you're installing the same thing or if there is actually a more up-to-date driver available another good thing that you want to know is let's say you go to their website and you update their driver manually and then somehow your computer's not working you can't get your sound to work good anymore or maybe the software you're using can't recognize your sound but it was before keep in mind that you can go here and then once you update the driver this will become available if you do it manually and it says rollback driver and it'll take you back to what you were previously on so that's a way to restore if something happened when you update your driver so i hope these options help you troubleshoot your problem have a good one Hey, if you found this video valuable, go ahead and return the favor by liking and subscribing to this channel. If you subscribe, type the phrase, I subscribed in the comment section below. Keep in mind when you subscribe, it motivates us to continue to make these free videos. Lastly, if you enjoy learning about technology, entrepreneurship, or making money online, go ahead and check out my other videos on my other channel. Thanks for your support.